I'm going to do a couple of problems from the homework. Uh, this is actually found in your textbook, but it's also in your homework assignment. Let's do number 17 from uh, section 1.3. Uh, high speed motion through the air, such as a skydiver, shown here. Uh, falling before parachute is open, air resistance is closer to a power of the instantaneous velocity instead of just the regular velocity. Uh, to determine uh, determine the differential equation for the velocity of falling object um, of a mass m if the air resistance is proportional to the square of the instantaneous velocity. So if we take a look at these two forces here, we have two forces that are involved. We'll call those forces uh, F1 and F2. And uh, the F1 is the force going down, and F2 is the air resistance. Uh, that's keeping the force from going. So um, the the total force is equal to um, the sum of those two forces. So when you add those two forces together, you get the total force. And also, uh, according to Newton's method or New Newton's uh, law, that the force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Okay. All right. Well, what do we know about the acceleration? Acceleration is actually the derivative of the velocity. We'll call that v prime of t. And so um, that's our differential equation, or this is the differential equation function that we're trying to solve for, and now it's in derivative form. So we just need to set that equal to f1 and f2. Well, f1 is equal to mg, and f2 is equal to, well, this is this looks like it's the opposite direction uh, of mg, so let's let's call it a negative uh, kv squared. So if we just set these two forces equal to each other, we have m times the velocity derivative of the velocity is equal to mg minus kv squared. And so you can write it leave it like that, or you can solve for v prime. So the derivative of the velocity is equal to mg minus kv squared over m, or you can distribute the m and just say g minus kv squared over m. Okay, so this is your uh, differential equation uh, with the function v. Let's take a look at the next problem. Uh, the next problem will still use the same uh, ideas from uh, Newton's law um, and and apply Archimedes' Archimedes's principle. We have a cylindrical barrel, s feet in diameter, and then the weight is in pounds. So w pounds is the weight, and it's floating in the water as shown. After you press it down under the water, the barrel exhibits an up and down bobbing motion along the vertical line. Uh, so this is the vertical line, and this is the offset after it got pushed down. Uh, determine differential equation for the vertical displacement y, and so this is the function that we want involved here. Uh, if the origin is taken in the vertical axis and the surface of the water um, at, at the surface of the water when the barrel's at rest. So here's Archimedes' principle. Buoyancy, or the upward force, so that's different from the downward force, upward force, the force going up uh, of the water in the barrel is equal to the weight of the water display displaced. Okay, so let's uh, let's start off with uh, well, we'll start off with Archimedes' principle, and then we'll come back and make use of Newton's uh, Newton's law. So Archimedes, the Archimedes' principle and buoyancy says that the force uh, now this is going down. Um, and so the upward force would be uh, a negative force of going down. So that's uh, this negative sign is going up, and then the positive is going down. So the upward force is equal to the uh, is equal to the weight of the water displaced. So weight of the water displaced. So this is the water that, that has been displaced. Uh, out of the barrel. So the weight 
uh, is described as the density times the volume. Uh, if you remember that from Calc 2. And the density of the water is given to us here. And that is 62.4 feet per, oops, that's pounds per cubic feet. And now the volume, is. this is actually a, uh, a cylinder. And we need to find the volume of that cylinder. So the volume is uh, pi r squared h. So the r squared, the r is uh, s over 2. And then the height is this displacement. So we don't want the whole height of the cylinder. We don't want the height of just the cylinder of the water. We want the height of the amount of water that was displaced. And so that height is exactly y. And so if we simplify this, um, I think I need to take my calculator out. And I just need to divide 62.4 divided by 4. Uh, 62.4 divided by 4. And that's 15.6. And then, uh, oh, by the way, this was the volume, so this is the cubic feet, and we can see the units cancel and just be the weight in pounds. Uh, so this, uh, we have pi. We have s squared uh, divided by 4 is already taken care of. And then we have y of t. Okay. So that's uh, one way to describe the force using Archimedes' principle. Next way to describe force, or the first way, I guess, is Newton's law, uh, mass times acceleration again. All right, for this problem, the acceleration is the second derivative of the position. So if your position is y of t, uh, the second derivative is y double prime of t. Uh, we have another issue here in that we're dealing with pounds and we want the mass. It turns out that if you were going to incorporate the mass using pounds, it's actually s in slugs and not kilograms. So uh, the we have a relationship that the weight is equal to uh, the mass uh, times the gravity. So we can replace this mass with uh, the weight divided by the gravity. So what's that say? Uh, that says that our force is equal to the mass, which is weight over gravity, times the acceleration, which is y double prime. Okay. So now what we can do is we can combine Oops, let's make sure that we include the negative sign. Um, combine the two forces together, and this is a, the second force. So if we take this over to the other side, we have uh, force is equal to force. That's weight over gravity is times the second derivative of the position is equal to, and now let's throw that negative sign over here, 15.6 pi s squared y of t and then basically all we want to do is solve for y double prime actually this is already a differential equation so we can be done but uh, if you want to write it as y of t is equal to then that just uh, divides by w and multiplies by g so negative 15.6 pi s squared y of t times the gravity so this is your differential equation. All right, I hope that helps.